Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys just a simple get ready with me. This is a Saturday morning get ready with me. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to start off with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, which I love. I switched back from my Tatcha Spray because my Tatcha Spray is a little bit too dewy and it's getting a little warmer outside. So while I let that dry, I'm going to eat my Pop-Tart and do a little dance. Yeah. Anyway, moving on to my primer, which is the Pore Professional Primer by Benefit. I love this primer because it's very smoothing. It fills in all of my pores and makes my skin silky smooth. And then I'm going to use my Becca Poreless Perfecting Primer, which is super duper matte. I use that in the areas where I get oily the quickest. I'm going to put that also in my laugh lines to keep, um, to help a little bit with uh, creasing in that area. Next, I'm taking my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color, um, I want to say ebony. I think this is ebony. And I'm just filling in my brows. If you guys want a full brow tutorial, let me know. I haven't done a brow tutorial in a long time. But I do have a new way of doing my brows, so I will show you guys how to do that in another video. If you would like, I'm going to be just um, carving those out and cleaning them up with um, my Cover FX Contour Kit, the lightest color in the Contour Kit in Deep. I'm just using that to, you know, fix my brows up because I needed them done. I'm also using that same palette, um, using the third shade, which is kind of like a medium brown color. I'm using that to cover up my dark spots. Now, I know I was supposed to like color correct with like an orange shade, but I don't like using orange shades. I just feel like it's too much. So we're going to take this Milani foundation and I didn't know what I was doing. Okay, y'all. So this is look looking real crazy. I know I opened the bottle. I unscrewed it. And really, it's a pump. <laughs> Look at me. Putting, I'm putting way too much on. You, using the wrong part of the bottle. Yeah, girl. There you go. Use the pump. Okay? So even though I put on all this foundation, you don't need that much. Okay? I have quickly realized, as you, you will see on my face, <laughs> I quickly realized that I used way too much. Yeah. And um, you, don't, you need probably half of that. So I'm using a buffing foundation brush by... It cosmetics kind of just pull some of that foundation off of my face and buff it into my skin um you really don't like i said you really don't need a lot this is a very full coverage uh foundation slash concealer duo so it doesn't need to be a lot on your face okay so i'm using a beauty blender to kind of just soak up that extra product that i have and uh blend that out even further further what is further further <laughs> and I'm going to be putting on my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the shade Ginger, I want to say. A little too light for me. So I'm going back with my um, LA Girl Pro Concealer, which I haven't used in a long time, but I found it recently and I forgot how much I love it. And I'm blending that in as well. I think this is the color Cool Tan. So I'm using both of those concealers to just blend in and highlight my face. Now I'm going to use this Ofra foundation powder palette and I'm gonna use the caramelly shade to set my concealer and I don't like to use loose powder on my um to set my concealer and bake it because I just feel like baking it leaves my skin texturized at least with the Sasha powder anyway yellow powders just leave my skin so texturized if I use it to bake so I just set my foundation first with foundation powder and this is a makeup forever pro finish powder in the shade 174 I believe and I'm just setting my whole face with that and then I'm using this um I don't know who this is by but this is like a brow gel I have a new brow gel that I use like I said I'm going to show you guys how to do my brows but I'm just cleaning them up because I'm supposed to do my brows after I do my face because I always mess my brows up in the process anyway so I'm taking my hula bronzer by benefit yeah benefit i love this hula bronzer i actually didn't think i would like it because in the pan it looks in the little box it looks like it doesn't it won't do anything for me like it looked like it wasn't my color but it actually does give me a very nice subtle bronze it's not heavy it's very light so i'm using this laura geller gilded honey highlight to highlight my nose and a little bit of my cheekbones one half of my face was all broken out too much dairy so <laughs> i Definitely didn't want to do too much highlighting. I just did it very lightly. And then I am using my Ultra Satin Lippy in the color Magic Wand. And I'm taking a new NYX Intense Butter Gloss that I got. I think this is in the color Peanut Brittle or Peanut Butter. I don't know which 
what it, what it is but that's the shade i'll put it in the description box so you guys know exactly what i'm using but i love the intense butter glosses applying a little bit of mascara to my lashes and i'm just going to apply some blush and i'm applying the milani romantic rose blush sliding off my hair scarf gonna fluff my hair up a little bit comb it out as you can see guys i did cut my hair again i have a problem with cutting hair and i'm probably gonna go even shorter than this i'm probably gonna go back to a pixie cut i don't know yet i'm just really over having hair i just want it all off i don't want hair anymore <laughs> anyway so yeah just judging my hair making sure everything looks nice and that is pretty much it so I've had my makeup on for about 10 hours now. Just wanted to kind of like give you guys a initial review on this foundation that I'm wearing today. I tried out the uh, Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer by Milani and this is in the color 09 Tan, I believe. Is that what it says? Yeah, 09 Tan. And um, I got this from Walgreens. It cost me $10.49. It's a good price point for a, you know, inexpensive foundation compared to like 40 30 40 dollar foundations that you would get from anywhere else this is a low-end brand so it's considered to be considerably uh affordable um this is the darkest color that they had at the walgreens near me and it turns out to be my perfect shade like this is actually perfect for me so if you're wondering how i chose my shade i literally just picked the last one because it looked like it would be my color. I got this color because I saw Missy Lynn use it and I figured if it works for Missy Lynn, it'll probably work for me. She, I think she's a shad, a, t a tad shad. We're not talking about Bow right now. I think she's a tad bit lighter than me, just a tad bit. But I feel like usually we're around the same ballpark when it comes to foundation shades. I, I don't know what to compare this to. To be honest, it is a beautiful foundation, It's but it's very full coverage. And I think it's because it is a concealer and foundation in one. So technically, if you wanted to wear this by itself, you could. But of course, you know, I got a highlight contour, all that stuff. So it says that it's medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, long wearing, water resistant, and sweat proof. So let me give you the verdict on what I think, how I think it did. It did rain today, but I was not out in the rain, obviously, because we're natural. Mainly what I needed to know was would this hold up with my oily skin? As you can see, my face is very shiny right now because it's oily. I only had to touch up my face once. I used a paper towel to blot, not a paper towel, a napkin to blot my face when I went to dinner. Um, but that was the first time I had to blot my face all day. Uh, and that was about six or seven hours into me wearing the foundation. So actually, I didn't have to do a lot of blotting um, because it did hold up really well with my oiliness. So I'm not looking like a slick Rick it looks pretty decent if you ask me so i think that it does hold up well with oil if you have oily skin so i think the sweat proof and water resistant part is fairly true um i have very oily skin so i think that if it can hold up against my skin boo it can hold against anybody's okay i think it worked pretty well basically my creases in my forehead my laugh lines and usually like under my eyes There's no washing machine. If I see my makeup start to separate or move in those areas where I move my, cause I'm an animated person, okay? I have very strong facial expressions. You know, over time, my makeup does move and shift in areas where I do a lot of movement. So usually my forehead creases a lot cause I do a lot of expression with my eyebrows um, and my laugh lines. I have no creasing with my laugh lines, which is amazing to me because I always have laugh line creases and I have, I have a little bit of creasing in my forehead, but not a whole lot. And I think that's only because I caked on powder up there, but um, it's not a whole lot to where it looks too bad. For it to be 10 hours later, I think that that's pretty good for the way that it looks. It stayed put pretty well. So I'm pretty impressed with this foundation. So I would give this about a good eight. It's up there with like Revlon Colors Day. I think this is Revlon Colors Day level because Revlon Colors Day is a very, very strong holding foundation it just smells like paint and i don't like to use it anymore because it's really thick but i feel like this is a good alternative for that because it's not as heavy a new staple we got a winner if you guys would like me to try any new products and let you guys know how i like them i will give them a test drive just let me know in the comments what you guys want me to try next and i will try it for you i think this is a series are we gonna make this a series i think we're gonna make this a series what should i call it i don't know i like alliterations 
but then again it doesn't have to be alliteration it could be anything so just let me know what you guys think okay okay <laughs> bye guys